Yeah, when you play Baylor, you have to be efficient offensively in general. Uh, you have to hit a lot of first shots because they are so tall at every position um, and so talented. So again, the, the three-point ball will be part of the game plan. Um, you you got you to gotta be able to step up and, and make those when you get them and shoot a very, very high percentage. How important was it for Brittany to kind of get off to a quick start too with those three-pointers just to kind of pull out some of their post players get legs and tough some, some space? Yeah, I think anytime we can pull the bigs away from the basket, it's, it's definitely advantageous to us. And uh, when you play Baylor, you got to kind of spread them out so um, you're not going to get a ton of stuff at the basket. Yeah, so for Brittany, you know, she's going to have to take open looks wherever those might come from. You know, we're going to we're going to move her around quite a bit. So whether she's at the basket, um, off of rebounds, whether it's mid-range um, or three-point line, uh, she'll just have to be more efficient than she was in um, West Virginia. What do you want to see in this game specifically to really get the, <clears throat> the consistency back on track that you want to see from game to game and just sustain for the rest of the season? Yeah, I think just sustained effort. You know, we talk about that a lot, but it's it's not magical. It's um, it's something that is inconsistent in a rebuild for sure, but it, it's not magical in terms of um, you know what you want and you want a consistent four quarters in terms of what we can control, effort, loose balls, things like that. We didn't do that particularly well at West Virginia, um, three possession game, and and we could have handled our business a little bit better in those areas. So uh, we're definitely looking to do that better um, tomorrow night. And you can talk a lot, uh, a lot of time about. It. Well, I think, you know, facts remain that, you know, we've played them closer than anybody outside of South Carolina who beat them. Um, they were without Smith when we played them. Uh, she's a big integral part of what they do, and she's back in full go. So um, they're able to play a, a really tall lineup at times. With uh, They can even move Richards to the point. They can move Egbo to the three. I mean, they, they become um, giants out there, really. Um, but they're an extremely talented um, group. Yeah, I think it's important in general. You know, it's it's late February, and, and we talk a lot about you have to fight through things. Um, unless it's uh, limiting type injury, you got to fight through it. You got to play. I mean, um, we've got uh, Ashley Jones a week ago gets Big 12 freshman of the year and played the second half with a dislocated shoulder that they pop back in place. I mean, that that's unheard of almost. So, but it's it's that time of year, and it's um, you know the toughness piece is, is so crucial at, at this point. I think it gives a lot of confidence. I mean, obviously the number two in the country for a reason. They're a great program, great team. You can see um, all the championships that they have won. And so for us to be able to be competitive, that's what we want, that's what we want to do. And we want to do it again. We executed our game plan really well. And so we want to do that again this time. I know, you know a lot of time you're uh, a part of this team is hitting those threes and you know, if they're falling or not. But against a team like Bay that has that size, is it even extra important to get off hot from from beyond the arc? Oh, absolutely. Like I said, Baylor's a great program. You're not going to beat them if you're not hitting shots. You don't have much wiggle room there. And so we got to come out hot and fiery and ready to go and knock down shots. And for you as a shooter, do you look forward to these games even more when you know there's going to be like, you're, you're needed even extra in a game like this? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think everybody on our team that shoots is like excited. Like, give me the ball. Like, let me knock it down. Let's, plus we put in so much work. It's like we have confidence at this point, so. In that game where Brittany was able to hit two three-pointers, kind of pull out some of their posts, how big was that for Lexi and Tuck to be able to kind of work inside as well? I think that was huge. I think anytime Brittany's hitting threes, it um, expands the defense a lot, and it helps us all the way around from our shooters to our guards all the way inside. And so I think it helped um, Tuck and Lex get inside and rebound and finish and get a little bit more space down there. Um, so I think that's going to be huge for us for Brits to hit those threes. Yeah, I think the first time we played Baylor, we really played fearless, um, and I think that's what we learned is we have to play fearless and confident on the court against them. In that game, you had a couple of threes that were kind of big. You guys shot well from the three point line. Is that something you're hoping to do, or is that something that you're hoping to maybe game plan with some other things around it? Yeah, um, a good shooting percentage is definitely very, very important in this game because um, this team is really good at rebounding, and so you might not get as many opportunities as we want, and so we got to knock down shots when we have the opportunity. When you look at the size of Baylor, there are a lot of comparison with the size that Texas has to how you were able to hang with them for so long in that game. Yeah, I think there is a lot of comparison with size-wise, so it's nice that we've played Texas twice um, and then already have a, um, a game against Baylor under our belt and we get them at home, so it's good.
what is the focus on consistency right now as far as you, know, you guys will get a win and you can't string like two or three together? Where's the view on just stringing two or three here at the end of the year really keep you guys going? Yeah, consistency is super important, especially in this month. Like, we really have to be able to consistently get better and better and better and not take steps back. And um, that's something that we're definitely working on. Do you like, feel like for the most part you have been doing, whether it's you personally or the team, as far as getting better, you know, from game to game, have you felt that throughout the whole season overall? Where have you seen that the most? Yeah, I think everyone has gotten better over the season. I just think um, consistently we have to show it on the court. In practice, we're working hard and we're getting better. Um, and I think we just have to step out on the court with that confidence um, and that desire, you know. Yeah, um, the most important thing against going against post players like Baylor would definitely be just matching their physicality and matching their effort and really just matching like their overall confidence. I think that they're, they all have very confident post players and they take their time and I don't need to be rushing anything against them. I just need to make the right looks and not worry about scoring every time or anything like that. Just, you know. <laughs> What's it like whenever you have a game like this where all of a sudden they start hitting them over and over? What does that do for your confidence, even if you're not going to? Oh, I love it when we start making shots, especially like in those transition threes, because I know that they're going in. And, um, rebounding is also a lot easier because when we are making shots, our misses aren't like super long or anything like that. Um, and so, I mean, I love when our team makes threes, like it pumps me up. And so when we start hitting them like in a row after row after row, I love it. It's a lot of fun. Is that a way to put some pressure on Baylor? Yeah, I definitely think the three ball will be an advantage. It was at their place, and so we have to do the same thing here. Um, it will definitely play to our advantage. Against the post-heavy team, how does the approach maybe change that for Lexi and Tuck? Yeah, I think that for Lexi and Tuck, it's going to be like face-up plays and stuff like that. Um, and definitely on defensive end, um, just matching their physicality, out physicaling them. like. We have to because they're a lot bigger than us and so um, they're going to go out there and they're going to do that.